Hello, my fire signs. How are you doing? I'm here to do your <laughs> mid-December reading for 2018. Last reading of the year. How are you all doing today? How are all my fire signs? So Aries, Leo, Sag, I hope you guys are having a good month of holidays so far and we're getting into the closing of the holiday season coming into the really good parts i hope that you're all well and that you're surrounded by people who love you um i'm here to do your reading so we're going to find out um what energies are in store for you what opening energies we're going to use my um sacred geometry deck to do that uh this is for sun moon rising and venus so um if something doesn't resonate here with you please do not try to make it fit if a message wasn't for you this is a general reading uh, but if you do have other elements in your chart um, check out my other videos to see if any of the messages resonate with you uh, if you guys need your own personal reading I do do that all the information is in the description below and uh, with that let's get into your reading so fire signs oh my gosh i don't I'm, I'm just kind of feeling giddy with you guys right now i don't know what energy i'm tapping into but i'm feeling like really giddy it's like i've just got this whole new burst of energy it's like it's amazing so let's just find out um, what's going on with fire signs for the mid part of december Ooh, we've got synergy i'm gonna read that in a second let's see here what else do you have for the opening energies of this reading for fire signs? What other energy? Miracle! I love it! Oh, you've got miracle and you've got synergy. All right, so first synergy came through number 41. Ooh, and miracles number 33. So um, for uh, fire signs, the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. Ooh, so it's kind of like opening ourselves up to the ideas that we never thought about, the ways that we never seen things. And because we're because we're in this state of allowance, we're actually opening ourselves up to the universe to say, hey, if you got something bigger and better, like I'm open to it. I don't know what that looks like. I don't even know like how it's supposed to happen, but I'm totally open to it. That's what I'm feeling from this. And it reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that the new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. So sometimes the things that don't seem so obvious to us as like the really good ones can be like, bam, in your face, like this is what you need to do. And all of a sudden it becomes like this amazing miracle, this amazing miracle. That's so cool that these two cards have come out together. Oh, guys, like I just knew your energy was going to be good. I just felt it. Um, okay. The frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. So you tapping into source energy, you tapping into the infinite possibilities of, um, oh my gosh, I just heard that some of you are making some quantum leaps um, through the, the last half of December, like quantum leaps of... Um, oh gosh like uh development or like um um it's like something's something's happening where you're going some miracles are going to be starting to manifest for you because of like some quantum leap that you're taking and it's because of this allowance it's because of this allowance of the synergies of of being open like you guys are really open right now is what i'm feeling wow so let's go into i'm going to be using my witch's tarot to start off like see what this reading has to do so far amazing fire signs i'm loving it miracles abound quantum miracles i just heard Okay, like there's so many overlapping energies in the readings you guys are my last reading that I'm doing and I feel like water signs were kind of going through this you got king of pentacles here water signs were going through this idea of like really moving away from linear time like busting through like the time construct 
And I feel like you guys are doing something similar, not necessarily with time, but you're making like quantum leaps. Okay, let's see. This is what's come up so far. Okay, so first you have the King of Pentacles, excellent energy, excellent energy. And then you have the Page of Swords and the Fool card that come out after it. So let me just... So the King of Pentacles, you guys are like really, you guys are, you know, the, the King of Pentacles, you are in your dominion over um, all earthly matters here. And I feel like you are in, I just heard in a way you are your miracle. Like you are your miracle. Like whatever you've got going on right now, like you are your miracle. Um, and you are commanding your, you are commanding your reality right now. And so because you're commanding your reality, everything in the earthly plane is showing up for you in the way that is best for you. And in some ways it's coming in even better. It's coming in even better. Now the page of swords comes in with news. Um, sometimes it's delayed. Uh, you may have been waiting on some news um, to come in or some sort of message you're waiting on um, and it's a little bit slow coming in. But I also feel like it's um, it's bringing you some clarity on something. Um, also, I feel like, um, hmm. oh, wow. They want me to pay attention to the eagle hanging from his neck. I don't know if you can see the sorry the bird like right there the eagle I f I'm just getting I'm hearing freedom I'm hearing soaring high like um, I don't know if any of you guys have eagle sh as your totem or showing up but eagle it's like I, I feel like you're busting through right now on something um, you're busting you're also like with this page of swords, you're also cutting away. You're also cutting away something, the things that aren't lining up, the things that aren't lining up and which is only enhancing your energy. Like you're, you're kind of like really clearing away the stuff that, um, that isn't serving you. Like there's so many overlapping energies in all the readings today. Like I'm, I'm really amazed. Um, which is really cool because that means like, um, tapping into some major energies that are affecting us all um now oh, the full card means like this is a whole new journey for you like and and you are wanting to take risks you are wanting to take that big risk for the bigger reward for the miracle for the miracle and um you know it's out there and you you're just like yeah like i just feel like it's like I'm you're like ready for it you know like it's like here I am world like give me what you got because I'm ready to open my arms and receive is just what I feel like that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling right now this is really good this is awesome so let's find out what else fire signs need to know so new beginnings new beginning perhaps on this quantum leap is what I feel like like this fool is all about leaping forward leaping into the unknown and I feel like you're taking some major quantum leap forward it just keeps coming up in my mind. Okay. What else do quantum miracles? Wow. Oh my God, I'm getting like shivers for you guys. Like it's just so cool. Whatever your energy is right now. Um, really amazing. Okay. What else do fire signs need to know? Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, let me just pull another interesting energy to come out here right now. The Lovers in reverse. Okay, interesting. So, 
we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Lover's card in reverse, but then the Ace of Cups on top of it. So, for some of you, okay, you know how I was telling you, like you're cutting away some things that just aren't serving you anymore? There may have been someone in your life, okay, it could have been someone, a romantic partner, but not necessarily, not necessarily, um, that, or someone kind of coming in with this energy, actually, oh, someone was coming in with some, in, like, unstable emotional energy, and, um, It was coming in with this energy of wanting to be with you. Like, I'm feeling like it was romantic, but you may not have, it, like you didn't necessarily want it. And because Because you knew it wasn't serving you to your highest good, you let it go and you are able to receive now the abundance that you know you deserve. And I'm feeling like mm, this energy, whatever this energy is here, okay, whether it's someone or something with the energy of unstable emotions not in balance like the lovers also to me is like union of the masculine and feminine like the energies were unbalanced they're not in union this might be a person this might be an energy like a situation that's presenting with its these kind of energies you you know that you this was not good for you and you had to cut it away and because you cut it away the universe is now giving you this cup of miracles this cup of miracles is coming in like this is why i'm talking about this quantum leap like this you you went from something that could have gone really like kind of sideways and you leapt into like abundance instantly is what i'm like understanding with these three cards coming out together And I don't read these cards linearly. <laughs> um, sometimes I do, but um, I read them in the way that like these cards tell a story. And so I don't feel like this is, like I don't feel like this is coming into like the end of the reading. Like I feel like this is already like something that has happened. And um, because of it, like you're just going on this new quantum journey, this new like of big rewards. And because of this thing in the past of like some, this weird energy that just came in that really wasn't stable and you right now are stable. Okay. Oh, so this person or something was coming in and needing your stability. They're really unstable emotionally and you're stable here and everything like you're grounded. You are confident. They weren't coming in with confidence and I feeling like they were trying to get in the way and not that this was necessarily like their intention but this was going to get in the way of you and you, this uh, like abundance that's coming in these miracles that you're like you're you're able to like tap into because you know you're with source and this person is not connected to source this person is um not in union with their higher self completely they're still really governed by their ego and you are able to see through that and so you're not allowing that energy to kind of come in into fear and come into your dominion you are really residing over your dominion here fire signs and so you were able to not let this come in and because you weren't able to let it come in 
you were rewarded. You were rewarded because every time you make choices, every time you make choices, the universe like really supports you that are for your highest good. You then get, keep getting more of that. You know what I'm saying? So it's good. So tell us more. Tell us more. I'm going to one, one more card and then I'm going to clarify. I'm going to go into another deck here. <clears throat> Is there one more card that you'd like to... Uh, ace of wands beautiful like passion this is also spiritual connection this is like you now have two aces on the board um like you're channeling this fire energy your fight this is you guys like that you're channeling your fire energy um to bring in these miracles new creations new creations yeah okay um gilded tarot they want me to use my gilded tarot for this so what other messages do you have i really don't feel like i need to clarify these actually let's just go for more messages to see what else there is to to share with us here what other messages do you have for fire signs? What do they need to know? Four of wands, but it was in reverse. Okay. Four of wands in reverse. I'm feeling like this is tied into the lover's card. Because Four of Wands is, is kind of like a twin flame card. It's also like, um, let's see here. Let me just clarify. Yeah, okay. We got the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands in reverse. So, You, okay, let me just. What's happening here is that you really see through the, um, you're really knowing what's not in your best interest. Things, this wasn't a strong foundation whatever this energy that came in like before like with the lovers and the king of cups in reverse it wasn't a stable energy and because of that you 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 see the wands are behind um you see the wands are behind him and he's looking onto the ship coming in and you you know that this wasn't your ship coming in this this oh gosh sorry it's all backwards for me the four of wands here, this energy that was kind of presenting that's not in union. See, this is also like a union card and it wasn't union and you knew it. And so this, to me, this is just another confirmation here of um, something's going on here that, you know, earth signs had as well, someone coming in, masking themselves and earth signs were able to see through it. I feel like you guys were able to see through this too. Like, I don't know if yours was so masked, but it, you were you really were able to like pick up on it really fast and make the choice. And it's because you've got this energy, you've got this quantum energy going around you that you like are making split decisions, which is your own, this is your energy, it's fire energy. You know, like you don't, you're quick on your feet. You know, you don't need to like think it through so much. Um, it's like you're really instinctual and you're going off your instincts is what I'm understanding. And so you're you're okay to leave this stuff behind and cut it out immediately if it's coming in. Um, oh man, lost a bunch of cards here. Okay. Let's see, what else do you have to share with us? Just pick two more cards and then we're gonna go into the crystal cards. Are there any two more cards that you'd like to throw out here for fire signs? Two of cups in reverse, ten of pentacles. <laughs> Again, 
it's this whole idea of you saw that the union wasn't there within like whatever it was and it wasn't a true union whatever this energy was it was not a true union energy and you are really in your union with spirit you are really in your union with spirit so when someone or something comes into your life that isn't presenting itself with this union or isn't carrying this energy you know it's not to be taken because you already have your abundance you don't want anything messing with your abundance you are making miracles right now you have this so um, I'm, I'm understanding that like just be on the lookout for um, not like be on the lookout but just have awareness that something if it hasn't come in already it could try to come in to kind of distract you from these like miracles this quantum miracle do not allow this energy to um, mess you up um, because you guys just have it's 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 really good right now for you it's really good so you really and, and, and it's not like I, I really feel like it's even if it does come in I don't feel like you guys are gonna like take the bait like I really feel like you um you got your wits about you and you're like on it you're on it but just be aware just be aware so you can nip it in the bud as soon as you can when this energy comes in if it hasn't already okay so what cards do the crystal cards have like what closing energies would you like to leave fire signs with kind of closing energies Woo! astral travel pophilite oh okay astral travel so going into that higher dimension doing some miracle work perhaps in the astral um plane in your dreams are you guys having some really pay attention to your dreams because you're getting some new visions coming in um through your dreams that are going to assist you in um these miracles that are coming in that uh, are okay you're going to be receiving some messages in your dreams that are giving you new vision on on um moving forward with this energy um like the new visions are gonna present themselves like it's it's this idea like it's gonna be something that you haven't seen before it's gonna be something that you've never really thought about before like you didn't even know it was possible you didn't even know it existed and you're gonna get some clarity of this in your dreams. You're gonna be getting some clarity of this in your dreams. This new vision is gonna come through in your dreams. Ooh, whoa, that just like flew <laughs> one second because that one flew all over the place. Universal mind. Yes, you are tapped into the um cosmic consciousness you are tapped into the universe that you are you are transcending like this this person who came in with this like ego okay who did not have like the union of of higher self um or or this energy you have the tapped in energy of the universal mind so you really know how to um channel this through you so that you you are making these quantum leaps and these beautiful miracles um there one second sorry there's just um something's coming through Some of you, some of you are really opening up your third eye. Some of you are really opening up your third eye and you're seeing beyond, you're seeing beyond the color spectrum here right now. And 
you're starting to see colors. I don't, I don't even know where this is coming from. I don't know why I'm saying this. This has nothing to do really with the reading. So it's for someone out there. Um, you're starting to see colors that don't exist here in our 3D. Um, and you're starting to really tap into that. Like you're starting to see colors you've never seen before. Your third eye is really opening up. Um, these colors... These colors are bringing in a frequency for you that is um, creating um, this idea of miracles. Uh, it's going to bring in a frequency that really um, um, that really kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like you know. Okay, I'm just being shown. If you look at like a lake. Um, have you, have you ever like when you were a kid, like thrown rocks to skim the water? Like I saw like this rock, like skimming the water. And I feel like these, this frequency is going to like help you like just sail right across the water really fast. It's like, you don't have to get in the water. You don't even have to swim on the water. You're not even walking on water. You're literally like skimming off the top. Like you're like flying across the water almost like, like that's, and like whatever, like these color frequencies are coming in, like they're really like your it's, it's it's taking you to a whole new level like this is your quantum leap for it's for someone out there so if you're starting to see like colors like there's a message in there for you like to know that these colors that are being shown to you are to assist you in um not just raising your frequency but capitalizing on them for a new vision for yourself your new vision is coming through these color frequencies I don't don't even know where that came from. So, um, yeah. So great fire signs, like good energy here. Like I'm so excited for you. Like as soon as I tapped into your energy, it was just lovely. It was just so exciting and happy. And I was like giddy. So I'm still giddy. Like I, I'm, I've loved reading this for you guys. So miracles abound and just like so many great things like are ahead of you. And you're just like, really tapping into this idea of, um, quantum manifestation really so you know my ugh, just my heart goes out to all of you um i love you all i wish you all happy holidays over the next coming um two weeks and i please um saying this to everyone but just let the people who are in your life that you love very much let them know that let them know how much you love them this is a really beautiful time to share those feelings with those who you love because you continue to expand that gratitude and it's a great way of closing out the year of really taking stock of all of your blessings especially the blessings that come to you in the people your relationships that you have in your life so take the time to extend that to everyone and i wish you all happy holidays and i will see you all in the new year if you guys need any kind of assistance or guidance on anything that's going on in your life um I do have the personal readings and you know that if you need any more information about me, you can like head on over to my website here on FlexibleMe.com. So happy holidays to you all. I'll be back with you all very soon.